What's going on YouTube? Busty here and I'm back with some footage from the Fan Expo. So I got to play a bunch of different games like Halo Master Chief Collection, which was amazing, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which might be the first Call of Duty game I don't buy, The Crew, Gauntlet, and a bunch of other games. But the one you guys want to see, Forza Horizon 2. So I asked you guys in a video earlier this week what questions you wanted me to answer when I was there. So I started to play and I turned to the guy at the booth and said, hey man, I run a small YouTube channel that has heavy Forza related content. Do you mind if I ask a couple questions? He said, yeah, sure, go ask away. I was so excited. I was like, yes, all right, gonna get some questions. So I turned to the guy and I go, are you here with Playground Games or Xbox? He then replied, who's Playground Games? Facepalm. So he and pretty much everyone there at the booth was useless when it came to Forza specific questions, but I'll give you my thoughts on how I felt like the game played. So first I'd like to apologize on the shitty camera work. So I showed up there with a GoPro bolt with my chest and did everything that way at the Fan Expo because I was short of time and sort of showed up there like last minute. But anyways, let's get to the gameplay. So the demo had three different cars to select from. The 2015 Lamborghini Huracan, the 2012 Aston Martin Vanquished, and the 2014 C7 Corvette Stingray. I know it's kind of hard to see, but the detail from the cars just from the car selection screen is very good. But now, let's see how the game actually handles. Seeing how it was Forza Horizon, and I was pretty sure the handling was going to feel a bit more arcadey, so I turned off all the assists and went down the straight full throttle. I was wrong. The physics are very close to Forza 5, and it was nothing like I was expecting. So now a couple looks at the cockpit view. This one is inside the Lamborghini Huracan. Here's the Aston Martin. And here's the Corvette. They do look very good and have like tiny little bit of arcadey feel to it, but all in all, they look great. Oh, and just in case you missed it, did you see the windshield wipers turn on? Yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Speaking about rain, the car looks absolutely phenomenal in the rain. It's hard to tell from your side of the video because with the GoPro and YouTube only lets me upload at 30 frames per second at the moment, but it does look amazing in the rain with the lighting. It's a really cool experience in a Forza game. And another thing about the rain, it actually adds a whole new element to handling. You can see in a couple of clips here, I try to take corners like I do in Forza 5. Keep in mind, there's no driving line and I've never driven the track before, but I tried my best. But the rain just kept throwing me off. It's almost like you can feel the car hydroplane if you hit a wet patch fast enough the ass end kicks out without warning. So with that all said, the demo only lasted 4 minutes long from start to finish. It starts off with you leaving the festival, then driving through some farmland, then down into a valley, then cruising by the cliffs in and out of the rain, Then making your way down to the finish line and rolling over it. Again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Once past the finish line, it then shows off your position, skill score, and top speed. And we are now ready to begin the test proper. After that, a graphic with a box art of Forza Horizon 2 saying available on Xbox on September 30th. So with all that said, I loved every minute of the demo and I can't wait to get the full version. So if you guys have any other questions about the demo, let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer as much as possible. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more great content.